Hello, everyone. So if you've made it this far, that means you are at the point where you are ready to acquire some owner operators. So congratulations to you first and foremost. Now, I know if you've gotten to this point, you're like, okay, where do I begin? I have all the skills. I have all the paperwork. Now, how do I get owner operators? So today I'm going to show you step by step how to use the FMCSA website along with Safer Web to find you a list of leads for potential owner operators that you could be dispatching for. Now, on the FMCSA website, you're just going to go over to where it says choose menu option. You're going to click and there's a drop down box. Go to FMCSA register and click go. Once you click go, there are a list of reports that have been generated. Normally you'll see this spread out amongst like a week or so, but they've been updated in this quite often, the 15th, 16th, 19th, 20th, 21, and it goes on and on. So let's go to the 28th. Now this right here is gold for you. This is a list of people who just got their motor carrier numbers, and they could potentially need a dispatcher. Now, of course, everyone has access to this list. A lot of people know about this list, but your energy can set you aside from everyone else. You can just say the right thing at the right time. You just never know. Use the list. It is gold. Um, one thing I want you to notice, like, so right here is the motor carrier numbers. Next, you'll find the name of the company. And then you'll find the date that it was decided on that they were approved for their motor carrier number. One thing I want you all to notice, I'm going to go down. I don't know how many pages I'm going to have to go, but I want you to pay attention to the dates on the right and see that they may change. Okay, so eventually you're going to get to this part of the list of the people that you're not going to contact. Um, notice. Uh, being revoked, discontinuance, notice, discontinuance. These people, reinstatement, yeah, you can deal with that if you want. But these people have lost their motor carrier number on the verge of losing it. Whatever the case is, they don't have it. It's, it's They don't have it. These people with a date, this is who you want to contact. This is who you want to be in touch with. Now, this is 140 pages worth of possible applicants. Really, I think I went down to about 20 before I got to that area of people that I would not bother calling. So now let's take a closer look at this because I know you're like, okay, we see a list of companies, but we don't have their phone number. We don't have their email address. So I hear you. I hear you. Just copy the number. The number only. You don't need the letters if it wants to cooperate for me. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to copy that number only. We know the company is called Atlas Heavy Hall LLC and it's in Florida. Now on the Safer website, make sure that the motor carrier number is, is selected. And then you're just going to paste the number into there. Now you'll find the snapshot of the company. You see that they're based out of Florida. We saw that, saw their legal name. We see that they have nine power units and they also have nine drivers, which is good. We see that they can go interstate. That means that they can leave outside of Florida. And you can see how many inspections they've gotten. Um, you can see how many accidents they've had, tolls, injuries. This company looks pretty good. It is one that I will call. So let's say I see this and I decide I want to call them. I would just reach out and I'd say, hi, uh, this is, you know, hi, is this Atlas Heavy Hall? And they'd say yes. And I'd say... Hi, my name is Tori with All Things Logistic. 
I see that you recently obtained your motor carrier number on September 23rd. And first off, I wanted to say congratulations to you. And they would say thank you. And then I would say, so what is your plan for finding loads? And then they would say, let's just say they say they have no plan. From then, I will go right into my spill while I'm a dispatcher and we offer whatever, whatever services. And then I say, if you like, I can send you over some more information. Uh, if you have an email address you like me to send it to, and they would give you their email address. And now you email them over all your carrier paperwork, your carrier agreement, your credit card authorization form, a W-9, um, the carrier profile, send it all to them via email. And now you potentially have yourself an owner operator. So that's pretty much how you would use Safer and the FMCSA website to contact them. The phone number is right here. The address is right here. You know, we're not mailing anything, no. So it's just directly call the phone number. If an email address was there, you could shoot an email, but you'll get that in the phone conversation. So I hope this helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.